What's up, gamers? It's your boy! This episode of our Wanamaker is sponsored by Boredom. Are you feeling bored? Well then, what are you doing? Open up Steam, go to your library, and play our Wanamaker. What? You don't have our Wanamaker installed? Then go get it! It's free for fuck's sake! You just have to download it! Doesn't cost money, just get it, it's a great game. Thank you, Boredom, for sponsoring this video. The first level is called Claustrophilia by a Voracious Reader. Let's check out the description. You don't need spikes to make a challenging platforming level. Alright, let's check it out. So, I see. Okay, it's similar to the style from Voracious that we're used to. We have moving shit, basically, but no spikes, interestingly enough. Okay, so the only obstacle in this level shall then just be getting, getting getting squished by these blocks if you don't time your jumps right. Also, I don't know if this is the best strategy for this first part, but it did seem to work, so I'll just go with that. Okay. <laughs> nice, I, I love levels like this. That find like new and creative ways to like uh, present the threat to the player, right? It's not just like needle. I, I don't even know like what I would want to call this, honestly. Just like, yeah, cycle-based platforming, I guess. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like to finish the level, we'll need to collect two sort, like two types of coins. Interesting, okay. Let's go down here first and do that correctly, apparently. Cool. I just kind of, I didn't pay attention what I was supposed to do there. I just went for it and it kind of worked out in my favor. Alright. Well, it doesn't seem to be too... Okay, I'm safe here. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't squish me down here. It doesn't seem to be too challenging so far. That can, of course, change. Okay, nice! Cool! Didn't have any problems uh, with that second save, thankfully. Okay, now we ride this block over here. We do want to collect all the coins, I assume. So we want to get in and get out right away. Cool. Um, More coins. Yeah, this is super cool so far, like honestly. Like, I'm, as you can see, I'm not getting stuck anywhere. Like, the first section of this entire room was so far the biggest challenge for me. Um, not because it, I think it's really difficult, I just didn't understand um, how to approach that section right away. And I guess the approach that I found um, just, yeah, worked the best for me. So, but I wonder if there was like, a, there's probably a way to like jump off uh, or the jump on top of those blocks faster, um, which is probably what the world record did on this map. Okay. Oh, this section is cool. I like it! I died to it though. <laughs> it's, it's pretty unique though. Alright. Also, again, ni nice tile set going on here. I like it. That's like the one thing I really suck at, like making a unique looking tile set. I just go with like the boring looking well, oh they're not boring i mean all of the tiles in this game are really pretty but i guess the the, the standard tiles it right i'm not that oh god that creative to like create my my own unique one although I, some like whatever <laughs> it works right it works you can just like change up the colors a bit and there we go um okay so this map obviously uses two tile sets red blocks and green blocks and the red ones they don't even kill you right they're not like killer blocks the only again the only threat is them like crushing you on a wall which happened again <laughs> okay i really okay for this part i don't think i can just like go for it and like get through it um i actually need to pay attention to the timings here let's say uh so i'm safe here okay where's the next safe spot just over there okay cool now, where did I get squished last time? I don't even recall. That works. Oh, I need to jump up. Okay. Can do that. Cool. And we made it. What? You have to be so quick. Yeah, okay. I guess don't land there. Just grab the coin and get out right away. That seems to work. Oh, God. Oh, I guess I wanna... Ah, maybe, like, I don't think I can... Let's, let's get this one first. Come on. I don't think I can grab this one and get back down again. Like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I need to chill up there for a bit. I, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> okay, like that? Yes, okay. Um, 
now. Well, I do know that the coin that's near the safe is not too tricky to get. So let's see how do we want to attempt this one or attempt to get this one. Uh, I think I see an approach. Although, is it the best approach for this? I'm not sure. Let's try it though. Like that? Oh god. Well, you see my idea there, but I don't know if I can actually grab it. Is the problem. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so how else could I do it? I'm very... Why am I so confused by this coin? I, I literally don't see how to obtain it, other than doing what I just did. But okay, it works. It works. It just seemed... Oh! Crap. <laughs> okay. It just seemed like it, w it wouldn't work for some reason. Like if I just held left there, I would just like fall past the coin. Okay, we still need to make it to the warp. This is... I feel like, honestly, this is the most challenging save so far. Although I haven't died to it a lot. That's just because I'm taking my time with it. Because I do appreciate that this could like roast all of my, like, a lot of lives. Anyway. Uh, okay, we need to... I see. This is the timing I want. And... What the fuck? <laughs> there we go. Okay, jump. <laughs> just jump at the end. Yeah, that was an awful <laughs> Like right at the end, I fell into that pit for some reason. I thought I could like walk off the block onto the other one, but I guess there was just the tiniest gap that I could still fall through that I didn't realize. That's a really fun map, Voracious. Um, again, I love cycle maps like this. They're just really fun. And again, the gaps were... Although at this, in this one, I feel like the gaps were really tight, but since the blocks themselves weren't like the danger, you can like um, just hold left or hold right to like squeeze through right away. And it's like, yeah, it, there's just a lot of strats here that make these timings not as tight as they otherwise would be if these were, for example, uh, like killer blocks. But then again, uh, the entire map wouldn't work with killer blocks, right? Since you have to like use the blocks as well to like get get to places, like jump off them, uh, use them to collect coins. Yeah, that was really cool. Uh, my favorite save was definitely the final one. Like, uh, figuring out how you had to obtain those coins. I found that really interesting and really fun to do. Hello, Honeycomb. Honeycomb? Co okay. <laughs> A B-themed level. B emote. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, I've seen a lot of, like, honey-themed levels before that use, obviously, the sticky vine. That's the best choice, the, the honey vines, if you will. But we actually have bees in this map. You recreated them by using the uh, Toho bullets, which is really cute. I like that a lot. That's not something you see every day in a Wanamaker, just, like, bees. Well, this one is just... I, I see, this one isn't flying, it's just, like, sitting on the wall, right? Just not moving. Um... That was a tight jump, I feel like. Okay, but we made it to the first save. Okay. Oh, they, they have the little needle that's sticking up from their butt, so I need to watch out for that. That makes sense. Oh, this one didn't have one. Oh, it's like not out. I guess they can like eject it if they want to. So I feel like for this one, yeah, you want to like make use of the vine there. Like it, it's there for a reason, I'm assuming. So let's try and use it. Um, yeah, if I just get on it, I will still have both of my jumps, is the thing. Like that, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Now, all we need to do is make it over to that switch, which is fine. Okay, the, the, this timing seems really generous. ANOTHER switch! Okay, didn't expect that. But that's cool. <laughs> that was cool, that was creative. Like the use of the lights here as well. Um, oh, I see. We go over here, we go in here, so we have our jumps back. And uh, now we get over here. Oh, this is tricky. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Oh, we still need to time it though. Oh, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's like the easiest timing in the world. So what does this mushroom do? Nothing, that's just decoration. Mm, jump over this one. Oh, there's a vine. Okay. Didn't realize that at first, but we got it. Cool. Really fun map again. Nice. And like really unique obstacles here, like bees, right? What? <laughs> How many maps did you play where you like you have to dodge bees? <laughs> I really like that. That'd be, I feel like bees would be a great, I want to make an enemy as well, right? We have Walker Jr. And I'm assuming they will add like a version of Walker Jr. that can fly. But yeah, I could also imagine like there being like a 
be enemy in this game for some reason, just like flying around. <laughs> would look really cute. Well, I guess it would be like too specific. I mean, uh, not, not necessarily. I mean, they added birds, right? And yeah, birds, bees, whatever. Would work still, I think. Okay, I have my triple jump left, so I need to use it for the end bit. I didn't, wait. Oh, did I use all of my, oh yeah, I did. Oh, I need to go down here and now I have it. Okay, false alarm, now I have my triple jump. Bam. I am surprised that I got that. Again, I feel like the um, hitboxes are really, what happened? Um, the hitboxes are really like uh, forgiving in that case, right? I feel like I touched the wing of the bee there, but apparently not, and I touched the warp instead. Are the servers down? Flip. Okay, it didn't count my clear. <laughs> Wait, let me check. No, they seem to be working. Um. Alright, well. I'll just clear this one again. <laughs> Nice, okay. Well, we got it under a minute this time. I didn't try to go for the world record. Okay, the save, the save, the like still saved. Or it's accounted. Okay, we beat it. Nice. Second place, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next level. We don't need wings too. Walker Kaizo Remake. Okay, I don't think I've played the first one, have I? They're roasting. The crushes are roasting Walker Jr. I'm sorry. Oh god. That is so violent. Can I? Okay. Well, I can put him out of his misery. I cannot land on the crushers. Interesting. Yeah, I could, but I don't think then. I, like, if I do that, I cannot beat the map. So he'll just <laughs> have to endure it for now. But I'm sure it's fine. Like, Walker Juniors are immortal in the first place. Um, unless, of course, we jump on them. But <laughs> See, we, we cannot shoot them, right? Like, bullets do nothing. It's only our, our like, anti-Walker Junior shoes that we are wearing that can like actually harm them. That's like the only thing in the universe that can hurt them. And I guess getting crushed by a block. What am I doing? This is super fun. <laughs> but I just, I wasn't exactly sure if what I just did was 100% correct. Also, what is that cherry doing? Why is it falling on me? It's eating so many devs. Okay, yeah, I think that was correct. Maybe I should have gone right away. I feel like the timing would have worked out perfectly. Let's try that. Let's go as fast as possible, and let's see if everything lines up. It should. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just go right away. Uh, we dropped... Uh, I don't even care about you. <laughs> just save. Okay. I mean, he tried to be helpful, but... That's fine. <laughs> okay, now we bounce on them. Alright, this is pretty... What is that? <laughs> Why are two of them sideways? Excuse me, okay. That's super, that's just cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's cute, cool, everything. That's positive. All right, let's go. Bam. Nice. It's a really fun map. Not, not too difficult, which I appreciate. This is definitely not going to be a grind. <laughs> um, just like, yeah, I guess uh, Voracious called it, what was it, Walker Kaizo? I guess that's a fitting description. I mean, the jumps here aren't like the easiest, obviously, but pulling them off, uh, pulling them off feels quite quite satisfying. Okay, now how do we get to that save there? I don't see a good timing here is a problem. That would have been one. Oh, that's terrible. I always go for it when it's like the worst timing imaginable. I wanted to jump over them, but instead I grabbed the vine. Okay, <laughs> let's see. That part is difficult for me. There we go. Okay, I appreciate the save here. <laughs> oh, what is that ending? I just appreciated why there's a save in the first place because of that part, I assume. What? Okay, you gotta, yeah, land on the correct one. I think I, I landed on like both of them at the same time, which obviously then led to my death. So, okay, the Walker Jr. hitboxes aren't that forgiving. Like, if you land 
on the blue one or I guess the bouncy one and the red one at the same time, it's always going to kill you then, which fair, right? That's fair. Uh, so you got to time or like pick the right one correctly, but also um, time it so that they aren't like on the same spot exactly. So you, you have to like, oh God, okay, that was tricky. I appreciate the save there. That made that final save a lot easier and it didn't take too many deaths. That was cool. That was fun. All right, last voracious map that I have on my list, um, delicious fruit, boss with a jungle motive. Motive? What is that word? Hold on. Motif. Motif? That's almost German. I mean, it's it's it is motive then, but you can write it like like M O T I F. Never heard of that, but it means the same thing, so whatever. <laughs> okay, boss! Alright, ending it with a boss, I like it. He sub or, or they submitted the levels to me so that the last one would be a boss, which is quite fitting. Let's reset because I haven't done... Okay, I can collect shields before doing anything. I'm assuming I then have... Oh, okay, the boss starts once I hit him. Um, okay, let's see, will we need those shields is the question. The green attack... It's just simple curving, which we can read really easily, thankfully. I mean, so far anyway. I mean, this isn't anything too tricky, although I did just lose my shield, so maybe I should just shut up and <laughs> concentrate here. I see what's happening. I'm going to get that shield because this boss has a lot of health. <laughs> I have just realized. Yeah, I hit him there. Okay, so the health, I think the health bar is that thing on the right. Yeah, and like each time I shoot him, a green cherry disappears. Oh god, this will be a really long fight then. And I also lost my shield again. Okay, so green is difficult. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just playing absolutely terribly. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe it gets easier. Mm. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> about that. Okay, okay, okay. I, I do appreciate that this is going to be tough. So you know what? The strat is going to be getting the shields on top there because once the boss starts, I'm not going to be able to get them anymore. Or not easily anyway. And then I'll just keep the shields on the bottom like that. I, I'll just keep them there. So when I take two hits... I should also probably jump on the vine with a single jump so I can double jump off it. I think that is what I have been doing, but I just... Yeah, this is better. Because, yeah, then, then, oh god! Wow. <laughs> it's like, you, you go for the damage and then you have to do like a drop of some sort. <laughs> it's a really cool attack. I didn't understand the yellow one. I feel like I just got screwed over, honestly. But maybe when it like, gets close, like the cherries get close to me, I just have to like hide in the corner. And like focus on like dodging instead of inflicting damage there. Okay, so let's pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, I, if I'm if i down at, uh, like, low, I can dodge it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so dodge it and then go for damage. Dodge it and then go for damage. Dodge it. And it's the same thing over and over. Oh, that was a... B oh, I still hit him. Interesting. Okay. These gaps are quite tight. Unless I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Which, you know, could be the case. But I feel like I got the strat down. Like, it's the same pattern over and over. Um... I just don't want to collect... Well, I could collect the shield. Why not? Then, yeah. Now we have three. Why not? <laughs> I was, like, avoiding it, like, the plague. What? Why? Why? <laughs> okay. We got that. Okay, yellow is down, basically. Well, if I hit him one more time. Yellow is down. Oh, God. Oh, bouncing. Lovely. I feel like I want to take you out quickly, then. No, they do despawn. Never mind. They do despawn. Okay, I was like, is he going to fill the entire screen with bou bouncing projectiles now? That would be awful. We still have all of our shields. Um, oh, believable. I still have all of my shields. Okay. I I am just going to be careful here. I, you don't want to underestimate bouncing. Bouncing projectiles, I find... I don't know. Is curving more difficult than bouncing? Or is bouncing more difficult? It depends on the attack. Who am I kidding? It depends on the attack. Definitely. Oh god, that was careless. I forgot the entire pattern of these of these cherries. Yes, they bounce. I should have realized that. that. Well, that that cherry would be in my way if I jumped on the vine right there and then. 
Okay, still not too bad though. I feel like, even though I did take a hit, I feel like this is one of the most easy attacks just because there's... Yeah, they are bouncing, but there just aren't too many projectiles in the room. Oh, okay. Maybe I should just not talk then. Um, these are aimed, I feel like. Oh god. So now I want to make use of like these vines a bit more. Like, go up all the way. Oh, you can like spam him to death? I didn't realize. I thought he has like incredibly long iframes. Never mind. So I could take tank some hits as well to like get the damage in. Oh, let me get the shield though. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. I, this is not looking good for me. There's still so many phases to this. Okay, that's good. Now that I know that I can do a lot more damage more quickly, we shall beat this boss. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Maybe now that I'm on the left side, it's even easier. I don't know. But I will take I will take the easier route if, if this is one indeed. Ah, okay. Uh, that wasn't even close. Don't know why I got so nervous there. Okay, uh, what is that? Oh! Interesting. Very interesting. But also very deadly. <laughs> very, very deadly. But I'm safe here, right? I could just... Can I hit you from here? Oh, so close. But I... You know what? I can just... Yeah, you know what? This attack is a joke. I can... Well, if I want to do more damage, I would need to go higher. But this is all I need. This is the height that I need. I can just do like a very tiny vine jump. Yeah, this is literally free. Okay, <laughs> nothing to be scared of. I'm afraid of the black attack, though. I don't know what that's gonna be. Um. Oh god, okay. <laughs> that one just appeared out of nowhere. Oh god, what is this pattern? Let me hit him. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, okay. Circles. Cool. I can deal with... Circles. No, maybe I can't. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to hit him. I just realized. Dodging, no problem, but hitting him, wow. Maybe again, maybe I should be on the left side instead. Let's see, is the left side any better? I don't know about that. <laughs> Didn't look so pleasant right there. Um, let, let's just try this, you know. Oh, okay. I almost jumped into my doom there. Gotta be careful. Okay, I think we got this. Like, we have one hit that we can tank. Just don't jump into the projectiles carelessly, and I think we should be good. Yeah, look at that. I, I think at this point I can just, like, tank the hits. Let's go. I almost regretted that. You know, I almost regretted that. <laughs> Like if the um, if the warp did spawn on me there, I might have died right at the very end. Wow, that took five and a half minutes to beat. Well, I did take it really slow at the beginning. Again, I didn't know that you can actually just like spam the boss and it's it's gonna go by a lot quicker. This is not a five and a half minute fight. It's like three minutes probably, maybe two, if you're good. <laughs> that was really fun though. I at first thought this would be like a grind. Wait, what are the? Yeah, okay, like. Under two minutes is definitely doable, but um, I thought this was going to be like such a grind, like this was going to be so difficult, but it's like the shields make this very, very doable, like very, very doable. Four shields is very generous for any boss fight, uh, in my opinion, like usually you see people giving you one, like the max I've seen I feel like is three, although no, that's a lie, uh, there's like a, a boss that I've played that uh, like every 30 seconds or so it spawns a shield on you so that's I, I guess yeah that's really generous but like f again four shields um, although really appreciate it because then again it's like it's it, it can be a really long boss fight if you just take your time and play it carefully like I did um, and yeah of course you don't want to like it would feel really frustrating dying to like this second to last attack or like the final one even um, so having those shields um, gives you like that layer of uh, safety, right? So even if you, if the attack catches you off guard, you don't know how to dodge it, you like freak out and jump into a cherry. That can happen, that happens to everyone. Um, or can happen to everyone. Uh, just, yeah, you have a shield and you can like just, okay, you got hit, just chill, analyze the attack and then you can keep going. So yeah, it's really fair in that aspect. I really like the four shields here. And it's interesting that you, 
you have to be like strategic about collecting them as well because I felt like getting the ones on t up top first obviously is the best choice because then again getting on top uh, on some of these attacks anyways is going to be really tricky so getting them at the very start uh, will be the best strategy so if you, if you ever attempt this boss fight I would recommend getting the shields up top first um, obviously if you're going for the world record then none of those shields will matter because if you go up there you'll lose a couple of seconds but I do believe that the world record probably took the shields that's um I'm not gonna watch the whole thing but uh, let's just see because with the shields okay they didn't interesting I was gonna say because with the shields you can like tank some hits um, and like stay on the vines for a longer time maybe they collect them later uh, but Sure. <laughs> Again, it would be really fun to see what the best strategy for this... Well, obviously the best strategy would be to just to dodge everything and stay on the center of the vine the entire fight. But I feel like with some of these attacks that's literally impossible. Right? Or it should be. That was a really fun boss fight, that's what I'm trying to say. I liked it a lot. The health bar on the right, really obvious. It lets you know how far you're into the boss. Perfect. A perfect fight. <laughs> All right, next up we have Unknown BSP with I Wanna Conquer Neon. Let's see. It's just a short needle is the description for this one. Okay, let's check it out. There is a safe right there, which we don't need. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, they're very side readable so far, which I really like. Gate. Bam, bam. Corner. Not really. Cool. <laughs> nice. Beginner friendly needle map right there. That was pleasant. That was a lot of fun. Actually, I'm not going to get it. It seems really optimized, but let's see if we can get a better time. Uh, that, what? How did I get it? That was so sloppy. Like, I did a really... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna improve that. That's... That was sloppy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a bit better. Uh, it's still beatable, but I, I just didn't think that we were going to get this, honestly. Uh, cool. Really fun level. Now, that is the only level they've submitted, but I have seen something in my Discord server recently. Was it this one? No, this is a typical crap post. This one, here we go. They didn't submit this, but I feel like since they've only submitted one level, why not check out one more? Um, they, yeah, this is their uh, 100th level. Nice. My um, 100 level, thank you all for supporting me thus far. And also thanks to Lixie and me. Smile. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Level number 100. Alright, it seems like most most of the maps here are just straight up needle, which is fine. Oh no, we have a gimmick here. Alright, I was... Yeah, again. Talk too soon. There we go, we have a gimmick. The spring. I see we need to hit it and then... Oh, that's cool! That's cool! I, I love stuff like that. A lot. Bam! Oh, that's a big boost though. Yeah, it's a red spring. Of course. Nice! And jump. I wonder. Th that's a cool map. That is really satisfying. But I, I want to know something. I want to figure it out. Can you... That's not the one. Can you get to the warp? Oh! You know, maybe. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> that it looks maybe because of my party head. I feel like the party head makes me think that this is doable, but in reality, it's like really not. Hmm. Okay, yeah, may maybe not, maybe not. Okay, I guess you have to land there. Um, again, really short level. Let's see if we can beat this uh, record at least. I just don't understand how they got like seven seconds, unless. Can you? Okay, now I'm really curious. I feel like I should open or like test this in the editor, but 
Oh no, I think you can get through that? <laughs> Maybe? It's like really, really precise, I think, but it should be doable. Yeah, if you catch like the perfect angle there, I feel like you can jump through that. There we go! Okay, that's gonna be the strat then, for the record. I see. Oh! Well, that wasn't fast enough, okay. I think I'm gonna call it there, but like that gap is incredibly difficult to get through. Those one-way gates, that jump is no joke. <laughs> like, seriously. Okay, second place, good enough, I feel like. That, yeah, that is super optimized. Let's let's give it a look, I mean, it's a short record. Um, okay, you could have jumped off the floor sooner there. And okay, wow. I did that completely wrong. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. With that new strat, I feel like I have a shot. <laughs> that was... I, again, I didn't react because I didn't think I got it. Because that was so slow. I, uh, one last attempt, come on. A bit better, yeah, literally, just a bit. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd try to get the sub seven seconds, and I feel like it's doable. But yeah, I don't want to spend an eternity on this. Still first place, cool. Okay, <laughs> secure two world records on unknown levels. Why not? Sure, these are really fun. Like you make you make short levels, so obviously it's going to be fun to speedrun them. Um, although in some cases long levels are also really fun to speedrun, right? But yeah, I think I do prefer it my short grinds, right? The like 10 to 20 second world records are like, uh, what I like, the, they're the most fun to me. Oh, I got this in the roulette. <laughs> yeah, we've played this. Okay, so those are two really cool levels. Nice. Let's check out another crater. All right, so Cybercoon, I don't think they've sent me an ID, but I've read somewhere that they wanted me to play Needle of a Strange Kind, so I just typed it in, and sure enough, there are three levels, so let's check them out. Needle of a Strange Kind, one, I'm assuming. Um, oh, okay, already, oh my god. Really, these visuals are so pretty. If you, it looks like Marmor. Almost. This looks. This could be like a tile set from like Crimson Hill 3. This is super, just pleasant to look at. Where are we going? Okay, <laughs> first jump is this. I feel like. Mm. Ah. Okay. And then we go into the double jump water. Oh, it's also, it also plays like Crimson Hill, honestly, <laughs> which is a, it's a really good thing. Crimson Hill 3 is an excellent game that I just cannot finish because. The last room was too difficult for me, but really, really fun game. I th yeah, I think that's the path I want to take. Okay, and then afterwards we collect a coin. Okay, this will be... These will probably be the hardest maps that we take a look at today. <laughs> from, yeah, from a difficulty perspective, I feel like these are going to be quite difficult. But so far, super fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. Okay, maybe do a tiny jump there in the water, that's gonna help. Oh boy, what a jump! <laughs> what a jump this is! Wow, I didn't even get to... Well, I did get to attempt it, but that was a really poor attempt, I'd say. <laughs> didn't get far at all. Okay, this, this, this like double jump water part is proving to be really difficult for some reason. I do love the spike formation though. It, it's like they're forming a circle. I, oh, it just looks so good. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> that moved down, interesting. Now we have to go back to the first save. Mm, okay, vine jumps. Where is my save? Oh, this is really difficult. Or oh, really long, and anyway, a really long save, okay. Nice! I didn't think I'd get that. What am I doing? I see. Ah, oh, that's gonna be so hard. <laughs> Maybe I can just, you know, hold left. Ah, uh, I think that's doable. I just need to do it later. Okay, let's get back there. Ah, 
I just again realized that I am a retard. <laughs> I can save! It's a blue coin! How... I have like 600 hours in this game and I still cannot remember that I can <laughs> save blue coins. Okay. Nice. So we do get a save there. Although maybe now I'm just gonna beat it anyway. Or like get to the next save. Cool. Now... Oh god. I hope that you can just like hold right. <laughs> Didn't even need to save. Didn't even need to save. <laughs> Let's go. It does feel like I'm grinding Crimson Needle 3 again. It is so fun. If this was Crimson Needle 3, then you wouldn't be able to like save with that coin. And now I would have gotten my first save. <laughs> if if this was Crimson Needle 3. Um this is this is I love this. I, yeah, that's all I can say. I love this. Um Okay. Gotta use the platform in various ways, which is always cool. Oh, yes. Walk off. Ah. Uh, ooh, I won't be able to tell. Uh, let's just touch this one. <laughs> let's see what that does. Maybe I'll be lucky. Unlucky! Uh, that should be the same one. Let's grab that one. One of them has to work, right? Done. Nice, okay. So it's just a walk-off. Cool. Now we want to, yeah, make use of this. Oh god, okay. Oh! <laughs> almost, almost. Okay, at least now we have the correct walk-off line. Which is great. Yeah, it just it's hard to tell here because I don't think... Yeah, it just... It's not a... What? <laughs> oh! I'm so dumb. <laughs> the platform changes my line. So it's random. I it's random. Then just let's let's just jump. If it's random, I don't run a, a rely on like having a, the walk of a line. I'll just maybe not. Maybe I'll rely on RNG because jumping there does seem to make that a lot harder. I wonder. I wonder what the intention is. Like, I wish there was just. I guess I can touch this wall. Never mind. I'm just dumb. The line is right there. I thought I cannot get it. Um, but of course, the walls in this game are solid, if there's not another room. So you can always get the good line. Cool. Again, made that more complicated for myself than it needed to be. Um, this is a difficult jump. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it's not that tight, and I just try to do it, or I tried treating it like a super precise jump, but may maybe it's not too bad. Next time I get there, I'll... Yeah, just see how far the single jump will take me and then we'll go from there. Okay. Ooh! I did the same mistake again. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I thought that was going to be way harder. Nah. <laughs> because the... Double spike above, I thought that it was like hanging really low, so I would have to get really far and then do the double jump because I was afraid of hitting the spikes on top of me, but they just weren't a threat at all, apparently. <laughs> that was so good. The best needle map, of course, that we've played today. Um, the other ones were, again, uh, unknown, made really fun levels, but they were like rather simple, right? This one had really just a lot of thought put into each and every single jump that there was in this map. Um, and yeah, I just loved it. it any, any needle that I play that gives me the feeling that I'm playing Crimson Needle 3 is excellent. Just straight up excellent. I can't wait to check out the uh, parts 2 and 3. So let's do that right away. Needle of a Strange Kind 2. Let's go. Um, <laughs> okay. We have, we have... We have some jumps here. <laughs> let's do them. Let's try to do them successfully. Ah, I see. Oh, really interesting. So far, again. <laughs> and we have a board. We, uh, br 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 we have Walker Jr. on this map as well. Um, okay. Let's see if these are going to get like harder and harder. I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, looking at it, this time we will only get one save to work with. There's no coin that we have to collect. 
that we can save. There we go. Oh, okay, that's a safe. No, is it? I was gonna say that's a safe already, but how can I? How am I ever gonna? Huh? I'm assuming it wants me to now do that platform jump over on the right, but how? Am I missing something? I... I don't think I can reach that. Am I the, Am I going crazy? Okay, what... Okay, let's analyze this. What am I not seeing? There must be like a block I can stand on or... Something. Did I go the wrong way? No, that seems right. I can't get to the bird and I can't get to the platform. Right? I mean, there's just... What am I not seeing here? Okay, let's try it. Maybe I'm going crazy and this is the easiest jump in the world. I, I, I knew I was going to bonk on the block there. Are you telling me that's possible? Are you telling me that's possible? How? Okay, I'm just going to assume that's possible then. That, that, I, ca I literally cannot see any other thing to try. That's like, the out of all of the things that look impossible, that's the most likely to be possible. I hope that makes sense. <gasps> I made it while well, I didn't get it. <laughs> but okay. Um, mm, that, okay. You know, okay. <laughs> We're like, mm, don't know. Like, I don't... <laughs> I, I, I want to say that's an interesting jump, but at the same time, I don't like it. <laughs> like, uh, there's just, I don't know, just, it looks impossible, and it's really hard to do. Uh, <laughs> right? I don't know. Just something about that combination uh, isn't, isn't the greatest. What I do know is that I do freaking love this background, though. It looks fantastic. I never use this background. Um, because I just don't I like bright colors and stuff, but um, what you did, I think you used like lighting to ma to have like it's like more purple on the top right and I, it, or like darker purple. It looks so freaking good. Like <laughs> you're really talented if it comes to um coming up with uh, really fantastic looking visuals. Oh, you almost got it there. But um, yeah, I, I would have to say like, if the previous map was like Crimson Needle 3 tier, I'd have to say, I, well, I cannot say anything about this map so far since this is only the first save, but I'd say this first save feels like something out of Crimson Needle 1, <laughs> which is, if Crimson Needle 3 is, um, is something positive, then Crimson Needle 1 is something <laughs> not so positive. But I, it, it, was, it wasn't a bad save. I just, I was very confused by this one jump here and I wasn't a fan of the very first jump because of that gap that you had to jump through and do like a really tiny hop. Um, I'm aware that you probably didn't have to do like a two frame there. I think the three frame would have worked as well, but it, it felt really precise. But you know, then again, first jump. So don't don't really have, yeah, the power to complain, I guess, since it's the first jump. Although if like, if you put a triple diamond as the first jump, <laughs> I'm not going to forgive you. Um, this is difficult, okay. It looks like I'm jumping, a, like, it, this looks like the sun, doesn't it? And like, we have the eyes here and the he's smiling or laughing and here's the mouth. This is the sun jump. Yes. <laughs> it looks like a sun, I'm not going crazy, right? Am I the only one that, that's seeing a smiling, laughing sun? Laughing? Okay, yeah, laughing rather than smiling. Um, so the sun jump is impossible. Maybe I have a bad line for this. Ah, uh, uh, I don't want to <laughs> mess around with the lines for now. This should work. Come on. Fine. Okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I touched that one already. Not sure. Yeah, I, I think that's the one I have. So that should work. If it's like on the save, it should work. Because touching this wall right here would be the worst of line. And maybe I have that, you know. Maybe I should actually like... Oh no, that's the same one. Yeah, I don't think I can change my line at this point. Um, oh well, this is not looking uh, <laughs> too too great in, in terms of like making progress. Like this jump is, wow, really difficult for some reason. 
Okay, I haven't made it once so far. Successfully, anyway. Well, I've gotten over the ice, but I can't land on the other side. Ooh. Okay, I cannot do this one. <laughs> yes, that is so... Why is it so difficult? <laughs> It feels so difficult. That was also difficult. What is this? Okay, I don't go through there. I thought I'd go through there. Now we use Walker Jr. Two. Let's do that first. Oh God, now we get small. And now the sun changed its expression. Ah, now we go through there. Okay, okay. But I need my double jump back is the thing. I got it. Yes! Uh. Come on. No, you... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Why is it getting annoying again? No, what is up with the first jump of each save? The first jump of every save so far has been so annoying. Why is this jump so precise? I cannot get in. Oh god, no, these these blocks should have been like one pixel maybe sticking out more, two if you want to be generous. It's just so unnecessarily difficult. Why? I feel like I, at this point I just have the worst line and maybe I don't and it's just a difficult jump regardless. But I, 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 I don't like this. Oh man, I never thought I would have... I would say that I'm not a fan of the sun jump. Can you believe it? No, I feel like I have the like best line even. I have that makes it even worse. If I do have the best line and this is like ridiculous, or am I the only one having a problem? Am I the only one? Have I cannot do that. Thank God, please. Okay, I don't want to do the sun jump again. Please. Oh, oh, ah, <laughs> okay, and we can save. I didn't forget, I didn't forget you can save with the tiny kid. <sighs> Let's go. Beautiful. I'm just so glad I don't have to do the sun jump again. That was, I'm sorry, that was awful. <laughs> that first jump of that second save was ridiculous. Okay, what are we doing now? That, perhaps, yes. Okay, you gotta jump, like, right away to catch that cycle. I would've preferred if the... Well, the cycle lines up perfectly, but it's like... If you don't jump right away, you're not gonna catch it. Which is a bit meh. Because, yeah, res Like, I need to move my finger to the restart button and then to the shift button again, so I can't jump off the ground right away. Or it's hard for me, anyway. I'm sure some people can do that. <laughs> with their setup. Okay, um, I, yo, I should probably pay attention to what I have to do afterwards, so let's do that. There's a jump refresher, I wonder why, I wonder why, I guess we'll need to use that. Okay, but there's going to be a safe spot after we get this part at least once, so that's fine. Okay, I need to jump off this sooner, or like jump out of the water sooner, and like, okay, like, eh, something like that, I just, I'm failing the jump currently, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure! What am I doing? Oh, that's why you need... That's why you need that, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. This is interesting. But, I oh, yeah, obviously I didn't make this, so I have no idea what the attention is. So I, I just hope I'm not overcomplicating the section for me. I feel like the approach that I have at the start is correct. Like that. Ugh, this is... Well, <laughs> yeah. This will be another tough save. Okay, I, I, I didn't even use the. I, I, I did collect a refresher, but I didn't use it to make it up here. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> cool. We need 
the parachute, so pay attention, we need the parachute. Um, okay, this, oh, well, getting through, <laughs> getting through this gap with the parachute is gonna be a pain, but maybe not, that's, yeah. Oh god, lag. Sure! Well, I failed. Now we're not, never gonna find out <laughs> if that jump is a pain or not, or that drop, or that weave, or whatever. Okay. I still have no idea what I'm doing here in this water part. <laughs> I'll just I'll just wing it like last time, I guess. I, I I guess that's the intention. Use it like that. That makes that a lot easier actually. So I'm I'm glad the refresher's there. Woo! No! Okay, that's not gonna be it looked harder than I think it is. Is what that jump is. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm getting used to the fast resets now, so the cycle is actually fine. <laughs> it was just at the start of the save when I wasn't used to restarting quickly. But now that I'm in grind mode, I guess, it's completely fine. Okay, another shot. Let's go. Do I need to stutter then? Ah, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> if I do have to stutter, I thought I can just hold left. I thought the gap was gonna be big enough. Ah, uh, perhaps not. Okay. That part is still so weird, but it works. Bam. Done. Stutter! Oh, I stuttered! I stuttered wrong? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, you don't need to stutter. What the fuck is that? It, it, it just, I just realized, what the fuck is that final jump? Oh shit, okay. Hallelujah, okay, ah oh, man. That, this this map didn't give me a good time, unfortunately. The the jumps were interesting, don't get me wrong. The jumps were Yes, interesting, but that's all I can say about them. Like <laughs> were they fun? Nah. Like most of them really just didn't feel didn't feel just cool to get through. Not not yeah, not even if you got them. It's just like, oh, thank god I'm done, you know? That that's the sort of feeling I have right now. So I'm gonna leave this one neutral. Um it has excellent visuals. So definitely and interesting. It doesn't deserve a dislike, N not at all, right? It just again wasn't for me. So the first map definitely uh, the best one so far that we played. Now it's time for the finale, or maybe there's going to be more Needles of a Strange Kind in the future. But for now, this is the last one. Needle of a Strange Kind three. I just wanna take a look at the. Oh, it's the same background, but it, it like keeps getting darker now. It keeps getting darker. Yeah, keep do uh, now we oh nice nice little theme that we have going on here then. Okay, oh this one has more gimmicks again. Okay, we'll need to use the platform. Use what am I doing? Ha! Huh. Do I need to shoot something there, or do I just have to touch that? No, that kills me. Maybe I shoot that? But then there would be an indicator, right? Maybe that's all what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah. Um, maybe I shoot it. I shoot the thing on the vine. I didn't... Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. What am I doing? Not understanding this gimmick currently like the thing is i don't i cannot interact with these things there's yeah touching them doesn't do anything shooting them doesn't do anything if i like i, I have to get my double jump back somehow maybe i go back but even if i do that there's nothing for me to do if i oh wait oh Oh, okay, <laughs> I get it. I hit the trigger. <laughs> okay, then we get to that spot quickly though, quickly, okay. I missed that trigger. I, I was looking ahead, but not up, where there was something that I could have 
Yeah, that I can reach. Okay. Question answered then. <laughs> we need to hit the trigger. Interesting. And I like that it's it's like timed. You have to get to the vine like quickly before the thing blocks blocks the blocks the vine completely. So that's just supposed to be an indicator that tells you hey that stops there. Okay. Damn, okay. That shouldn't be too hard though, jumping out of the water because our jump will still be floaty. We'll have a floaty jump. And then I guess we can rest on the couch. Yeah, that's what that's there for, probably. Oh god, that was so close. <laughs> nice. Now, well, the floaty jump is gone. So we'll need to make use of the norm. Oh, why? <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Do we get a save here? <laughs> Anywhere. Um, I feel like I want to get over to the speed vine, but how? Mm, I need, yeah, okay. Again. Oh no. Uh, maybe I use that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, yeah, I think I can make this. Can I though? And I don't want to land on. Wait, I don't want to. Ah, I don't want to land on the ground. No. Okay, this is really complicated then. Wow. Don't think that's right. I don't think I was supposed to use that jump refresher. That even if I don't know. <laughs> Again, no idea what the intention is here. Let me just. Next time I get there, I'll just take a closer look. Maybe I missed something. Oh, this jump I really don't like, <laughs> but it works. Uh, so maybe I could just do this jump again. It doesn't look possible, but this crate has proven me wrong a couple of times now. I don't think so. Again, like, am I... But if I... I don't know! <laughs> There's no other safe spot, though. Ah. Okay, I'll try one final thing. So, maybe... Just maybe I can single jump over all of this and oh, I didn't get to try it. All right, attempt number two at Echo's cool idea. Yep, yep, that's normal. Okay, again, it, it's so I feel it's it's not intuitive at all that that is possible. I feel like if you're if you made the map and you tested the jump and you're like, oh yeah, that's doable, cool, but. Like for the player, it just looked, at least for me, it looked impossible. And that's not the first time that happened. <laughs> I think there was uh, a similar jump on the second map that I thought would be uh, just impossible when it. In a... Maybe that's just my issue then. Maybe I'm just really awful at telling what's possible and what isn't. Although you would expect me to know stuff like this. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't, I, I guess. This this needle, it's not, like, of course, it's not generic, so all of these jumps will be harder to, to judge, since uh, I, I can tell you for 100% certainty that I haven't seen that jump on the left there, ever. <laughs> That's the first time I see something like this. It does work. It's just two full jumps. Okay. It's just two full jumps. And now we have all the refreshers that we need. We need all of them. Don't land on the... Don't land on the ground! Okay, that's gonna be a really interesting ending, but it's still gonna be <laughs> really difficult. Especially again, why, it's, a, it's a sun jump again. Why are there blocks there? I feel like that would have been hard enough without the blocks there. <laughs> why did you put them there? Those are those two blocks sticking out are very unnecessary, in my opinion. That just makes the this gap tighter, because you cannot touch the spike, you cannot land on the ground, this gap is really tight, you're moving really fast, so it's going to be really hard to line yourself up. This, yeah, no wall hug that you can do. That is unnecessary, in my opinion. That's that's just what I meant. I thought I got it there, but I, I landed on the ground and... Well, it's over at that point because I need the speed boost still. So I, if I land on the ground, my speed boost is gone. It's a prop, that's the whole idea of the save, basically. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, and now it's taking forever to get back to. <laughs> like the jumps in the middle, all of them are so precise. Again, the one jump 
uh, that I mentioned that just didn't look too fun to me. This one right here. I'm dying to a lot. This one as well sometimes. This one is so precise. Like, the, the bottom part of this save is super good. Super good. But this middle section and the top section are way too precise in my opinion. The middle section, fine. You'll die to it a couple of times. But... And I really like the uh, I like the idea of this section right here. I really do. I really want to like it, but I just it, it's 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 too that jump around the cherry and landing or like squeezing between the block and the spike is way too hard, in my opinion, for like an ending to the save. Oh god, yes! Oh, there's more! Okay, sure. <laughs> I kind of figured as much since the wall drug cut is long, <laughs> but... Okay, yeah, I think I said everything I wanted to say about that previous save. Bottom section, cool. Rest. Well, middle middle section, okay. <laughs> but the, the ending, way too, way too difficult. Cool idea, but way too difficult. Now, we have gravity plumper. I wasted my double jump immediately. <laughs> um... What, we, what is the goal? Uh, I see, I see the goal. We wanna, because now I use my double jump and I don't have it anymore, so the whole reason for this section is to regain my double jump after touching the um, blue arrow again. So now I start my double jump and I'll, now I have it back and now I can get over here. That is so good. That, that might be the my favorite part of this entire map so far. That, that right there to like, that <laughs> what you have to do to like regain your double jump. That was super cool. Now I see we ah oh, yeah yeah. Okay, that's not difficult. Come on. Um, we jump into the purple teleport home. Okay, don't do a full jump there, I guess. Um, and we have to make sure to jump into it like that, so we it doesn't spit us out uh, above the pit and we fall down. Okay, this is now turning complicated. Hold on. I, I think I see what this wants me to do, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, do I, though? Mm, like, if I do that... Yeah, wait. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, if I fall down with only a single jump, obviously I'm gonna be... It's game over. I didn't appreciate that. Okay. But, at least, the first part of the save is... Super doable. Now I think it wants me to... Oof, I did the same thing again! I didn't have a double jump again, or only a single jump. Flip. Okay, so it's not... Like, if you if you mess up, it's not that easy to recover. Or like, sometimes it's just straight up impossible. But... Oh god, okay. Um, okay, that, that, that's it, that's it. Then I jump over. And then I double jump. I see. Okay, I see what to do. I said I see what to do! What? <laughs> I could have saved that. Um, I I didn't expect to, to make it in like... <laughs> in that. I don't know why. Always expect to be a gamer. I don't know. Um, wait. That. That. Yo! Okay. Just took a bit of analyzing. And oh, I like this. This is like straight out of Crimson Needle Free. Dude. That's so cool. Um, I love stuff like this. Oh, that, that was so stupid. Why did I... I tried to jump over the cherry and the spike. Like, it, it, why? That, that I could have made that so much easier for myself. I don't know why over... Always overcomplicate stuff. I feel like... Always, always, always. <laughs> um, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to touch that again. Okay. Um... Really fun save so far. <laughs> really, really, really fun save so far. This is this map is getting a lot better. <laughs> nice. Time it. And now wait, can I? Hmm. Maybe I have to do it like I wanted to, because if I do it like that, then Yeah, okay, 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 sorry. 
Then, in that case, I was doing it correctly. I just messed up the jump. I thought I, I have enough time to do the thing I just tried. But obviously, I, I did not. <laughs> I did not have enough time to do all of that. So I'll have to dodge the spikes and the cherries at the same time. Okay, next time I'll know that, <laughs> at least. So wait for it. Yes! Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I jump over to the left to dodge those, I see. It wasn't symmetrical. I thought everything up there was symmetrical. Ah! Oh god. Oh god, that is difficult. Of course it is. Why would it be easy? That, okay, this is super fun though. I love this screen. I wish this entire map would just be this screen. That would be excellent. But I'm assuming since there's no warp that there's going to be even like... E even more after this one. In which case, I... That was awful. Ah, I saved it. Uh, in which case, I do believe this is going to be the finale then. Like, three maps. <laughs> right, that, that's a lot. Yes! Yo! <laughs> I... I so hoped that I would first try that final drop. It, it's so that is such a good drop. Cybercoon. This last jump here is excellent. I love it because it's not precise. It, it's something you can first try any day. It just feels so sad. Oh! Is this a race, really? Let's just see what happens. If the if the Walker Jr. hits the switch. Haha! <laughs> It's a race. We're racing the bird through some gates and one diamond. I am gutted that I failed the diamond. Failing, failing a diamond in 2021. You saw it here first. <laughs> oh god. Got it. One more room. What are you doing? What? <laughs> I, okay, I, I expected that to be the final thing, but... Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, one... Wait. Where's the warp? How much is there? Holy crap. Camp. Well, that has to be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird, that speed change part. Okay. I mean, oh god, path, path water. Oh, I like it. You you really rarely see stuff like this, uh, stuff like that. Just like a block of water following a path, and you have to dodge obstacles on the way. Also, incredibly hard to design around. I feel like I've tried it once, and I've never finished a map. Oh god. Hmm. Oh, I'm dumb. I go on the uh, to the left. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't think doing that on the right is what I'm supposed to do. But yeah, I call this beginning strange. I, I guess fair. I mean, needle of a strange kind, right? Um, so I guess it's supposed to be strange. No, not everything is, is is gonna be like something you will enjoy, which, okay. <laughs> I, I get the what, what this map is trying to do, and I appreciate it. Okay, so if we get, oh! Well, <laughs> we didn't get back there, but next time I'll get back there, I'll show you what I meant by not going over to the right, although I am pretty sure you already figured out what I meant by that. <laughs> you can see the safe spot already. Yeah, go over here and now back to the water. Fuck! Ah! Oh! And then I go back, I see. I, again, I should have looked ahead. Wow. Okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> um, I am alive. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ooh. What are you doing? 
What are these jumps, dude? <laughs> okay. Wow. Insanely good attempt, but failed the last jump, of course. <laughs> Second attempt. Ah. Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> nice. We're back to Crimson Needle 3, dude. Oh my god. What an ending. This was an X. Okay. First map, not so great. Everything past the very first map was out of this world good. It was. Amazing. Why am I holding my brush? Um, it was incredible. <laughs> just, just yes, thank you, um, for recommending Needle of the Strange Kind. The first part, super good. Second map didn't enjoy it too much. This one, excellent again. Uh, minus the first map, but sure. It the, the the first map had its good moments in this level, but just everything past it was superb. Uh, the the bird fight, obviously. Nothing too special there, but it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. I like that. And you did. You didn't have to be too incredibly uh, fast to beat that. Um, I, that's that's going to be enough for this video. I, I wanted to do a short recording session. I've been recording for two hours. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, okay, so I hope this video won't be too long. Uh, if I keep talking, it will. So I'll just stop. <laughs> but yeah, uh, incredible levels. I enjoyed them quite a bit. And yeah. Thank you all so much for submitting levels to me. I still have an, an enormous list that I'll hopefully finish sometime soon, and then I'll update the rules for submitting levels, because if I just allow anyone to upload like every level that they have, I'm never gonna be able to like finish all of them. Like uh, Some people are well over, or have made well over 100 maps, right? I, I just cannot play 100 maps of like 20 people. <laughs> right, so yeah, um, updated rules coming after I'm done with this list. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this part of Let's Play I Wanna Make. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. I definitely did have. Fuck! Cut that out. And I'll uh, hopefully catch you in the next one. But until then, take care, everyone. <laughs>